You're watching Up With Krim. I lived in Spokane off and on for the last 25 years. In the last five years, uh, I've experienced homelessness in Spokane. Um, and it's a whole new challenge. Uh, the once being housed to being out on the streets. Vulnerable to the elements, the people. And you wouldn't think, think that people would pick on the homeless. They, yeah, it happens. Spokane's my home. Well, that is just I'm one not. of many testimonies in a new student-led documentary team at Gonzaga University. They produced a film on homelessness in Spokane titled Humanizing Spokane. Now their goal is to create a movement to raise community awareness and to advocate for housing and an end to homelessness in our community. Now this morning, Michael Larson, who helped create the film, is joining us on air. Good morning, Michael. I want to jump right in. So tell us about what made you want to create this project and what you're hoping people will learn or take away from seeing Humanizing Spokane. Yeah, so this past summer I had the opportunity to hand out meals and care packages in Spokane next to Gonzaga University and over and over again as every time I would go out I would just hear people's stories and and hear how each person's story is so different and and how they ended up on the streets and so that kind of as we we're handing out and building relationships with these people and, and getting to hear the deeper life stories, there kind of became this deeper desire to want to do something more and use our voice as Gonzaga students to uplift some of those stories and just get people to, to care more deeply about people experiencing homelessness and kind of get rid of the biases and stereotypes around this population because there's a lot of negative stereotypes that kind of criminalize and, and, and shed negative light on the homeless people in Spokane. And so I think it was just this desire of how can we do something more, but also raise awareness on the deeper systemic factors that are driving homelessness in the, the housing crisis currently that we're going through in Spokane. And so that was kind of where it started. Talk about some of the stories. You know, I think these are our neighbors and uh, they, everyone has their own unique story. As you were gathering elements for your documentary, what's something that really stood out to you? Uh, I think something that stood out was just every story is so different. Like, while some of the themes might be the same, of um, like a lot of people who are experiencing homelessness experience trauma. And, and I think that's something that, like, we may not initially realize is that through the trauma that these people go through, that's where some of, um, some of their other issues come from. And so I think just realizing that each story is so different and we can't make generalizations. Um, and just allowing people to tell their stories themselves is so important. Absolutely, you know, and I, this is a very uh, tough topic to talk about, but what I think is so great about your title is it's humanizing Spokane and it, that Spokane element, it just kind of, it just brings us together because it's local. This is happening in our own backyard. So I wanna ask you, what do you hope people in Spokane, when they watch this, what do you hope they take away from it? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just realizing that, yeah, the, the big thing is that everybody's story is so different and, and not making generalizations about people experiencing homelessness, but I hope that people will care more deeply and, and want to get involved. Because this is an issue where all of us, we through the Humanizing Spokane sort of movement that we've created at Gonzaga, we want people to get involved and, and help create long-term solutions in the city of Spokane. And so what we're doing is we have created this documentary that you can watch on either YouTube or on our website, humanizingspokane.com. And then we're also hosting a march in downtown Spokane on April 24th. And if you want to get involved, that will be a tangible way that we can help as a community push for long-term change in the city. Well, Michael, you and your fellow classmates are making a great difference in our community. Great to see young people stepping up as well in our city. All right, you can also text the word documentary to 509-448-2000, and we'll send you a link to that documentary. We're going to take a quick break. More Up With Krem right after this.